when Christ was on the cross, He said, it is finished. So as we think about that, of what, what was finished, there's many things that ended when Christ died on the cross to be think, thinking about, but um, predominantly I think it means that his work upon the earth was done. The Sabbath was coming. It was coming just a few hours away. And his work had to be finished before the Sabbath came. When God created everything, he finished right before the Sabbath day so that there was rest. So everything has been done that was to be done to restore the relationship between mankind and God with Jesus dying on the cross. In John 17, 4, it says, Jesus, uh, if you remember, this comes from the chapter where Jesus is praying for his disciples after the Lord's Supper. But he says in verse 4, it says, I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. So Jesus was finished with his work, his earthly ministry. So this is the good news, that Christ died for us. He finished his work so that he could restore our relationship with God. So the gospel is complete now. So what comes after that? After the gospels comes the book of Acts. And Acts cannot come before the gospels. Gospels have to come first and be accepted. You have to accept that good news that Jesus died for your sins. And then you can act. You cannot act before you have those gospels. Anything that you do before that is pointless. Your gospel has to come first and then you can act. The good news requires action. That action is to go. To go and share the good news that you've acquired yourself. James, I think, talks about this in his second chapter. When he talks about faith without works is dead, I think James is talking about once you have those gospels in you, you have the good news that Jesus Christ died for you, then you go out and act. Those good works then come into play. So today, as we take our communion together, I want you to be thinking about that as what you are called to do, or what we are all called to do once we've accepted Jesus Christ, is to act and go out and share that good news. Thank you. Can I have someone share the elements? Heavenly Father, at this time we take the, the bread and the wine of the cup and we remember what you did for us, Lord, as we go forth from here forward to share that good news with others. We praise you, Lord, for your great mercy in Jesus' name.